Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanted to show you how to fix your Player Center app, or if you're on the new version, the One X console app. This works for both AOK -OK Zoe and One X player. So sometimes you press the turbo button and the app simply doesn't open. So as this person's demonstrating, you know, they're pressing the button and nothing's happening. And no matter how many times this person's gonna press it, it's not gonna boot up. We need to fix some settings here that seems to be broken. So you can stop pressing the button. It's, it's okay, it's not gonna work. Uh, dude, you okay? Dude. Whoa, 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 chill out. Put that down. Dude. Dude. Dude, are you okay? Hey, you. You're finally awake. Turbo button almost took another one. Well, let me show you how to fix it before we lose anyone else. Make sure to try these fixes in order. So fix one is app not starting at system boot. So we're going to check the app tray to see if it's running. Now in this case it's not running. I've done this for the example. So we're going to go to find its file location. So its file location is C program files and then depending on which app you're running. So if it's AOK -OK Zoe it'll be AOK -OK Zoe. If it's 1x player it'll be OXP or if you updated to 1x console it'll be 1x console. So we're going to navigate to 1x console.exe or aokzoe.exe or OXP.exe depending on what program you're running and we're going to launch it. If you're running the One X console it's going to boot into the game launcher. We're just going to exit out for now and we're going to double check the app to make sure that it's got auto boot enabled. So to do that we're going to go to the tray and we're going to right click on the icon to make sure that auto boots enabled. So if it's enabled great. If it's not check it off reboot your system and see if it works now. So we're going to pretend that it didn't work. So our next step is going to be to press Windows key and R and then type in shell colon startup and press OK. Now this is your startup folder so here's where you can drop shortcuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a shortcut for the One X console app. So you're going to go to the file location at C program files One X console or of course the name of the previous uh, programs if you're running those. So take the .exe we're going to right click and we're just going to click on create shortcut and it should put it straight to the desktop. Now you just need to take your new shortcut and drag and drop it into the startup folder. This should make sure that the app always starts up at boot. Fix number two is making sure memory integrity is off inside of Microsoft Defender. So we can open Windows Security and we're gonna open the app. Now we're gonna head over to Device Security and now you can click on Core Isolation Details and we're gonna make sure that memory integrity is toggled off. If it's on, this is why your app isn't working. This needs to be off for the app to work. Fix number three is region format set to recommended. So we're gonna go to our settings and we're gonna click on the left tab to time and language. And then we're gonna click language and region. And all we're gonna check here is to see if our region is set to recommended. So the region format should be recommended or you can also set it to English US. Sometimes this breaks the app. So just double check this and try the app again. Our next fix is for when the app opens blank or there's missing elements. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Explorer and we're going to make sure that we can see hidden files. So we'll go view, show, and make sure that hidden items is checked off. Then what we need to do is we need to navigate to C, users, and then we select our name. And then we're going to click app data and then roaming. And then we're going to delete the gamer zone folder. I wanted to show you this. So if you don't have the app closed, you're going to get a pop up that says try again. It's saying that it's being used by another program. So you need to go down to the icon, right click and then click exit. And now you should be able to delete the gamer zone folder. Now that you've deleted the gamer zone folder, you can go ahead and reopen the app. So we're going to go to C program files and then you're going to go to either AOK Zoe, OXP or 1X console. So I'm going to go to 1X console and I'm going to click the dot exe. And let's see if it works. If it works, then this is all that you need to do. Your app's working. Otherwise, move on to the next step. Just note that you're going to have to rescan for your games to be added to the game launcher. Uh, this is just because we deleted the file that had all of the settings in it. Our next fix is when you've accidentally double installed the software. I'll show you how this happens and how to fix it. So you would have been going to the website to download the software. So I'm just going to pretend that we're going to get the AOK Zoe one here. So you've already downloaded it and you've extracted and you're ready to install. So you click on the .exe and you get this pop-up. Now you've probably selected only for me and what happens is it changes the install path. So what happens is you don't actually remove the old one, you end up with two of them. So I'm gonna run this so you can see what happens. So you go to C, Program Files and you can see the One X console, this is the original file. That's the for anyone. And then if you go to C, go to Users, Go to your name, 
and then app data, local, and then programs, you'll see that it's installed again and it has all the files. So what happens is that you have it installed in two spots and it ends up being a conflict. So we're gonna uninstall the one that's for me. So if you've done this, this is how you do it. Go to the uninstall, but you go to the uninstall in the location of the for me. So we're gonna click uninstall for me. It's gonna give you a error. Uh, so what this means is that you're gonna need to close the software if it's running. So click exit and then retry and it should run through. Now, once you've done this, you're gonna to wanna to delete the folder. So let's go back, right click. You're gonna get a pop-up though that it's not working. So you're gonna to need to reboot your system. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once you've rebooted, we're gonna go back and now we should be able to delete the folder. So we're gonna to go to C users, your name, app data, and then local programs. And then we're gonna delete the, the folder here. Once you've deleted that folder, we're gonna also delete the gamer zone folder just to be safe. So we're gonna to go to C, we're gonna to go to users, and then we're gonna to go to your name, app data, and then roaming. And then we're gonna delete the gamer zone folder. Now, if we delete it, we're gonna get an error. You can try again, but it's not gonna work. So you're gonna to need to reboot your system once again. So now that we've rebooted, we're just gonna exit the program if it was running. And we're gonna go navigate back to the same file location, users, your name, app data, roaming, and now we're gonna delete the gamer zone folder. We're doing this just to make sure there's no conflicts with the data that it stores. So now that you've done this, you should be able to run the software, the one that's originally installed. So we're gonna to go to C, program files, and then 1x console and click the .exe. And we can see that it boots up and everything's working. So that should fix it for the double install issue. Our next fix is to completely uninstall and fully remove all components of the software. So to do this, we need to go to C, Program Files, and then we're gonna go to the 1x console folder. Once you get here, we're gonna click on the uninstall.exe and we're gonna uninstall the software. So we'll run through the prompts here. This message will pop up, just press okay. That's just it closing the app. So once you're done, just hit finish. Now that we've uninstalled, we're gonna go ahead and delete the 1x console folder. So just right click and delete. And then we're gonna navigate over to C and then users, click on your name. And then we're gonna go to app data. And then we're gonna go to roaming and we're gonna delete the gamer zone folder. So right click on that and just hit delete. Once that's done, we can exit out and we're gonna reboot our system. Now that you've rebooted your system, we can go ahead and download the software. So for 1X player, I have the window on the left here. I'll leave the links in the description. So you just gotta click your product as 1X Player Center, and you can download the software with the game launcher or without. For AOK Zoe, you don't need to select your product, but also just like the 1X player, you can download with the game launcher or without. If you download the AOK Zoe one, it will work on the 1X player and vice versa. So I'm gonna grab the AOK Zoe software. Once it's finished downloading, I'm gonna go to the downloads folder and I'm gonna right click on the file and unzip it. So I have 7-zip, if you need that program, feel free to see the video description. So I'm gonna extract it to a new folder, and then once that's done, we're just gonna go into that folder and we're gonna run the .exe. It's gonna pop up a prompt here. Make sure that you select for anyone instead of for me. Uh, it just makes it so that if you have other profiles, it'll work across the board. So we're gonna go ahead and install, and your game launcher should boot up right away. Now we can exit this and double check to make sure that our TDP app is working. And if that worked for you, then you're good to go. If not, keep watching. I'll show you one last solution I have. This is my last fix that I have to offer. Our final fix is to disable and re-enable the AMD Radeon driver. So this is the last fix that I have to offer. Hopefully this works. So we're gonna go to device manager and then we're gonna navigate over to display adapter. And then what you wanna do is you wanna right click on the driver where it says AMD Radeon driver and you click disable. The screen will flash black and then it'll come back. And then you're gonna to wanna to right click again and click enable. So this hopefully will fix it if all the other fixes haven't worked. So I wanted to close things off with a recommendation to update to the One X console and I'll show you why. So we're gonna to go to the game launcher and then we're gonna click in the top right corner and click check update. So the nice part about the new software is it'll look for updates for you and you can just click in the app to actually update the software. So what'll happen is it'll bring you through an install here. So you can click for anyone or for me and as usual, we're gonna click for anyone and then just click next, run the install. And then what'll happen is the app will open up again and you can go ahead and set it up. If you had previous settings, they should carry over. 
And that's going to do it for this one. So if you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, do the OKS thing and boop that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks for watching.